Hey guys, it's Kirsten. So uh, a lot of the team and volume uh, Facebook groups I'm in are talking about um, class pictures with social distancing and whatnot, and a lot of people are doing uh, composites, so I thought I would just kind of do my take on it real quick. So uh, first I'm going to place in bed just um, some kind of uh, textured background. Two Little Owls has a bunch of good ones. Um, let's just pick whatever, who cares. Hold down the shift key to size it out. All right, that sounds good. Okay, so let's try this first with the frame tool. I don't know how many kids there are in the class, but let's say a wallet looks probably good like this. So then we're going to call it Actually, you know what? We're not going to label them yet. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my gosh. We're going to go Would it be duplicate frame? Click on the move tool. Because now you know it's the same size, right? Duplicate. Okay. So now you know these three are the same exact size. So we're going to go to kid one real quick. And I'm just going to um, I'm going to go to the preschool that I shot. Okay, so that pops in there. Oh my god, that little peanut. I can't even handle it. The frame tools make it so easy. Oh my gosh. Um, There's Wilson barking. Okay, anyway, you get the idea. So then what you can do is you can go, you can hold down the sh control key and, and highlight all three of them, I believe, and then you can do duplicate. Um, then click the move tool and now you know they're exact only now you'd go in and swap out you know one two three right you can also let's just get rid of that one first um, okay so you see you see where I'm going with this right so then Actually, hang on. We gotta make sure it's the layer is over that. Okay, so we're gonna get a layer here for the text. And we can do um, I don't know. something to that effect. And then of course, if you hit the move tool, it'll tell you what the center is, whatever. But you can also do, let's do that again, hit duplicate.
because then you know they're exactly um, you can also use the arrow keys to build your templates um, if for some reason we're gonna highlight this kid um, Oh, I was going to see if you could actually, oh, I think you have to control T. Yeah, okay. So if you hit control T, then if you have to make them all smaller, um, you can deal with that. Um, maybe, you know, figure out how many rows and how many columns you need, you know, blah, blah, blah. So let's, um, I meant to duplicate again. Oh, I did the wrong three. Oops. Anyway, you get the idea. Um, and then you can kind of just build from there. Um, you can also, let's see, put in a, put a layer mask. Let's get a black brush. Oh, you know what? I have a, the background layer is black. If the black background was white, I'll do that real quick. Hang on. Okay, now let me go to the layer mask. Get a black brush, low opacity. You could always lighten the middle, so just that's an option if it was too distracting. Okay, so another thing you can do, let's, so we're highlighting kid number one. You can double click on this layer and do stroke. Um, oh my gosh, Wilson. Let's see what the class colors are. Oh, why doesn't stro stroke show? Hmm. Usually I do stroke, but it's not showing. Let me try this kid again. Double clicking on that. Gosh, I normally do stroke. I don't know why it's not working. Anyway. But you get the idea. Anyway, and you can just keep building it up. Um, from there and then you just click on each um, frame and drop in the kids picture anyway okay you get the idea you can do any paper you want um, just do a search of you know do a search of it, linen textures or whatever and I'm sure there's a zillion of them on Pixabay or something like that so anyway I hope this helps bye